What is going on, Logic Gang, and everyone out there watching my videos? I'm going to be going over one of the most powerful secrets in Logic Pro X, and it is not talked about a lot. So let's get right into this video. Okay, what's going on guys? So the trick I'm gonna be teaching you guys is how to strum your notes. So typically, well like if you have FL Studio, you have that simple little like all S or something and it, str it strums your notes and you can like adjust like the thing. But in Logic, it's a little more complicated than that. So what you wanna do, okay, so I have this little uh, chord progression I got from Scalar 2, Scalar 2's Scalar 2 is a great tool, so I'm gonna leave, if you don't know music theory, I'm gonna leave this in the description for you. And I think this is about like $60 right now on Plugin Boutique. So I'll put it in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. So I got the simple little, I think it's a G minor scale. Simple little progression. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to strum these notes. So, we're gonna go to our little inspector tab right here. And you're gonna see like this little arrow right here. It says region. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to quantize. And then I'm gonna go eighth note. Okay, the one thing about this is that it says quantize and smart quantize. You wanna make sure it's on classic quantize. I made this mistake a while ago. Like I didn't, I didn't know, um, it doesn't work with smart quantize. I was trying to do it like a while ago. I was like, okay, why is this not working now? Because I had it on smart quantize. You want it on regular quantize and then put it on an eighth note or whatever you're working with. And then you're gonna go down to this arrow right here, go to more. And then the thing we're looking for today is Q flam. So the Q flam essentially just strums your notes. So if you drag it up, it's gonna drag your notes like this way, as you can see I'm doing right now. And you can do it however aggressive you want it. You can do quicker. And you, also go, you can also invert them the other way. Okay, so another tip with these, if you're gonna do this, I recommend shortening the notes. You don't want them like this, because when you do this, they're gonna overlap. But that is pretty much the Q flam in a nutshell. So I hope you guys, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I know this is like, it's never talked about and I think it needs to be talked about more because strumming your notes is like so big in music production and it's so annoying to go in there like one by one and do it and zoom in all the way so this is just a way quicker route and I hope this was helpful and um, thanks for watching.